hello guys uh, welcome back once again to this youtube channel you know every five tinibu former bestie let me use the word bestie has vowed to expose everything that balabe tinibu and apc did in 2023 you know, I love the Edo fight, despite the fact that we cannot vote for him, despite the fact that we obedience will never allow him to form any uh, political party with Pito because Edo fight has his own problem. But what Edo fight is currently doing now is what we love. I can boldly tell you this for free. He has vowed that he will not go down alone, that he must go down with both Nebu and APC. But he has vowed to expose every single thing that APC did in 2023. And in this particular video, that is why I'm making this video. How Edo Fire confessed and spoke the uh, and, and spoke true to power. How APC, you know, ganged up and everything they did and the people they used to rig the election in in doing the twenty twenty three presidential election in the northern part of the country. I told the people, Tinibu knew that there was no way. I I can boldly hit my chest and tell you, my viewers, that Tinibu did not win the twenty twenty three presidential election. We knew what they did. We we, we knew the rigging and the rascality that happened. Now Edo Fire, Tinibu's former bestie. The only reason I'm angry before I even reveal the secret and everything that he actually you know uh, exposed. The only reason I'm angry at Edo Fire is why is he coming out now to confess? He was part of the uh, of, of this system during the 2023 presidential election that helped Tinibu to become the so-called president. He was part of this particular region. If he's claiming, uh, if he's exposed something, he should actually you know involve himself and you know uh, 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 indict himself. But he's trying to exonerate himself from the crimes. Now, because he because Tinibu has denied him a ministerial position, because Tinibu has denied him a lot of things, he has started to confess. Well, we don't care. What we want to hear is the confession. So the whole world will be seeing what Balame Tinibu and APC did during the 2023 presidential election. Well, before we dive into the cross of this particular matter, please, 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 if you're a first time visitor or a uh, uh, visitor here, please do well to subscribe and share this video and make it to go viral so people will understand what happened during the 2023 presidential election. They want people to be keep on saying that the rascality and the criminality in, in, in this country is an organized criminality it is an organized criminality and a lot of people doubt the authenticity of what it will be or he's, he's saying now let's head straight to the point i told the guy that every fire today has come out to expose every single thing that the mountain has did for balami and did uh, doing the 2020 presidential election Eru, look at the headline they said every fire reviews governor who wrote election results instead of conducting election remember he is now confessed that northern governors and governors are the ones that wrote the election results in 2023 <laughs> Let's read for the side. You understand what Erufai is actually saying. They said that the Erufai disclosed that this Erufai disclosed that the said governor had approached him on how to conduct free and fair election, but instead of heeding the advice given to him, the North West governor went ahead to write election results as usual. This is what the Erufai is saying. He said Erufai stated this on Monday in Medugri while delivering elite power elite people at a capacity building workshop for top officers of the Abonis state government speaking against the backdrop of state electoral commissioners rigging tools in the hands of the state governors that a state electoral commissioners are rigging tools in the hands of the state governors if i you know record how he used electronic voting to conduct a free and fair governor local government election area election during uh the term as the gov as the governor of the state as the governor of the state now it is quite fun that the Fire, you know he's coming out to speak that that the independent that the uh, electoral commissioners in each state are do, are the tools that uh, state governors used to rig election during the 23 presidential election during election period now this same thing happened in a lot of states if you come to a bomb state if you come to other states if you go if you go to river state we had people be won with a, a landslide victory like in one with a large margin margin the the state governors there yes and we our governor odom emmanuel and those the incumbent state governors there, you know, ensure that the state uh, 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 resident election commissioners, you know, did their bidding. Some of them went to the uh, commission center and we wrote all the election results. That is why when you go to the area portal, people be one of the local government in the area reporter. But when you, but from the uh, 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 collected result that INEC announced, APC won in Obia because Wiki was in charge. Wiki was controlling the election, uh, the, the uh, commissioners, the electoral commissioners within the state. And this is what Edufai is saying. This is what Erufai is saying, that these electoral commissioners are not tools in the hands of state governors. And he isn't directly telling us how they manipulated the election. I told you people that in the North, anybody did not win any, any election in the North. In fact, there was nothing like election in the North. This, that election was merely written by state governors. The numbers, the DGs, were merely written by the state governors. That is why in important cities where there was security and awareness, Tinibu could not win. That was why he did not even win his own Lagos because, you know, everybody in Lagos State, of course, majority of them are smart and there is a, a, the presence of international bodies and all, all that. In Abuja, he knew he cannot rig in Abuja. He knew he cannot write election results in Abuja because of the awareness. He now went to the core northern states and with the help of these electoral uh, 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 commissioners in the INEC, you know, which Erufai is talking about that they are just made to so Remember, this, this was how a a APC won the election and this is the message that Erufai is sending across.
they said uh Orufa went for that to say that they said uh as you can see on the screen Orufa went for that to say he said he narrated that it was after the success of the local government election that the northwest state governors approached him to use his pattern but after availing him of the technique used in conducting the election he went back to the, to his state and wrote elections of the local government elections he conducted instead of conducting it electronically you know erofi is claiming that the best way to stop this election rigging is to ensure that it is being uh, electronically conducted and this was the plan of 2023 he is actually coming out to speak now if he's a saint because he's having issues with the was this not the plan of 2023 presidential election all the electronic devices that that, that was uh, that were allocated for that election to ensure that it was credible free and fair INEC tampered with it. INEC switched off their IRF portal. INEC did not make use of the IRF portal, which is the major portal where the election results will be uploaded at real time. And this would this would have gone a long way to prevent any form of rascality and rigging. Erifai is coming out to claim uh, this in, that it is uh, the state governors that use uh, 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 the uh, uh, electoral commissioners in their state to you know do the election. Now he's claiming sent. They said Erifai during the lecture called for the scrapping of the state electoral commissioner commissions, arguing that the independent national electoral body could handle all the local government elections. You could imagine what Erifai said. He said, "Why I was the governor of Kaduna State, I introduced electronic voting. This was what he was saying. When we understand the point he was trying to make. We understand the point he was trying to make." That the election did not we are rigged by the state government in favor of Balai Metinibu. That is basically the truth. Well, let, on another developing story, you know, uh, uh, Yahya Bello, the former Akogi state governor, you know, today, as you can see on the screen, the EFC barricaded his resident and all that, you know, we are trying to, you know, arrest him because he allegedly embezzled about 80 billion naira. I could imagine the rascality in this country. No, no people be keep on saying uh, about the, the rascality and the criminality in, 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 in government offices. People don't listen and understand what he's saying. This man embezzled, allegedly embezzled, 80 billion naira. 80 billion naira. Why his state remains one of the poorest and undeveloped states in the country? And APC is, and EFC is trying to arrest him. Bet me and, you know, pinpoint or probably save this particular video. That this is ju just a, a show or a drama. Nothing will happen. How many people in APC have they prosecuted? Ganduji that was caught with dollar, have they prosecuted him? Have he, uh, uh, has he returned the money? Richard Sokorocha, a lot of AP, in fact, if you are APC, this is just a show of powers to, 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 to show that APC is working or probably that EFC is working. At the end of the day, nothing will come out from this case. The man will go score free and at the end of the day, the case will die out immediately. How many people have been prosecuted? How many people have been imprisoned? Nothing, no action. It's just show of drama and everything. Sad. The people will think that they are working. They're not working anything. This is just a drama. At the end of the day, they will know how to sort out and settle themselves. 80 billion, and nobody's talking anything about it. They just want to come and show us drama and everything. Why not prosecute the person the way you prosecuted Bob Risky within one week and let us know what will happen? Well, I'll keep on updating you guys. And when I guys drop a comment about the comment that AO5 dropped and um, this particular uh, EFCC's uh, read on the real uh, Bayer's residence.